Researchers just found a very simple explanation for a very complex mental disorder. Anthony here for D News. A research team at the University of Nottingham have found that schizophrenia and other psychotic symptoms could be caused by a single faulty switch in the brain. So schizophrenia is one of the most common serious mental issues out there. About one in every hundred people has it. They have auditory hallucinations, they have paranoid delusions, they have trouble speaking and thinking clearly. People usually start exhibiting symptoms of it in their late teens or their early 20s. And right now, treatment involves constantly changing antipsychotic medications and dosages, ongoing therapy, therapy and a lot of careful, careful monitoring by the people close to them. And most people do not make a full recovery. For a lot of them, it is a very complicated, lifelong struggle. So finding this switch could lead to much simpler and effective treatments. Throughout our day, we are constantly switching back and forth between our inner private world and the outside world. For example, we're concentrating or we're daydreaming and then we suddenly have to pay attention to somebody talking to us. That switching happens between a part of our brain called the insula, which controls things like our sense of self and our emotions, and our frontal cortex, which helps us make decisions and regulates a lot of our other brain functions. And after comparing brain activity of people with and without schizophrenia in an fMRI, the team saw that the people with schizophrenia didn't always make that switch cleanly. Their inner world and their outer world are mixing together, which would explain how inner thoughts or insecurities get turned into voices or into real situations for them. Faulty switching could also explain symptoms of other psychotic disorders, like being unable to empathize with others and make appropriate emotional responses. So now that we know where the switch is, how do we get it flipping properly? Magnets. Transcranial magnetic stimulation is a process that uses a magnetic pulse to stimulate the frontal lobe, which would jumpstart the insula into activating, essentially just getting the frontal lobe so excited that the insula goes, whoa, dude, go home, you are out of line. I will jump in here. They also suggested another surprising treatment, which is gaining popularity lately for everything from ADHD to substance addiction mindfulness meditation. People with schizophrenia have unusually smooth insulas and regular meditation over long periods of time has actually been shown to increase the folding in that region. All of these treatments are just suggestions right now, but even if they're slightly helpful, it could make lives for people with psychotic disorders much much easier. You know, it seems like the more we learn about the brain, the simpler the techniques are to fix it. Magnets and meditation. I don't know, what do you think about that instead of medication? Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.